you guys recently put out a big press release with called New Manufacturing Method for Battery Materials, um, patented by Novonics. And I just want to read the Jeff Don quote that is actually in the press release, because I think this is really interesting. Um, and he said, the ability to synthesize both state-of-the-art positive and negative electrode materials with this method is truly exciting. Uh, I believe that the onion-like morphology of nat natural graphite particles made from what would be normally considered waste is extremely important and could be potentially lead to the best and least expensive graphite for lithium ion cells. I believe that the ability to synthesize appropriately sized dense particles of NMC and other positive electrode materials in a completely waste-free process, unlike the current methods used by the industry today, has huge potential. And so why this really piqued my interest is so like, okay, so there's some sort of component of you building it artificially that allows it to be recycled more easily, which is very important to the cost component, which is a key breakthrough for the mass production component of this. So can you talk, can you kind of break down what Jeff Don is so excited here when he says like the, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I think this, this is talking about a technology that we're calling dry particle microgranulation. And just snapping back a little bit to one of your questions about the business plan moving forward, you know, there's yeah. a lot of focus on pure graphite's growth in this sector and scaling that business. But we run our business out of Halifax which also acts as a bit of a materials incubator where we're always looking for new opportunities to innovate on uh, battery materials, whether they're graphite or cathode, and we work on electrolyte systems, everything, right? And so we also sponsor a research group at Dalhousie run by a guy named Dr. Mark Oberbach. And so this is actually technology that he developed in his lab and through our arrangement, we own the, the, the rights to that technology. And so it's really amazing because it's a manufacturing process technology that we can use to make cathode or anode materials through the same process. And so typically, so we'll talk about the anode side for a minute on the graphite. So typically you start with some form of graphite if it's natural or synthetic and you have to size it, you have to make it the right size, make it the right shape, treat the surface, do all of these steps. But those sizing and shaping steps normally produce a significant amount of waste. Like in natural graphite, it could be 50% right? So you start with a kilogram of material, and by the time you're ready to process it, you only have half a kilogram left, right? And so this is a huge problem for, like you said, the cost curves around these manufacturing. You can't give up that much material to waste. So this process actually can take all of that waste material and reprocess it into uh, product particles. And so we can go from these, like, let's say 50 to 70 or 60 percent yield rates in graphite manufacturing to 100 percent right um and so that's that's why it's very very interesting and the work that we did around the natural graphite side that's in the in the press release and there's a paper linked off in that press release that dr overback and his team wrote um we can show that we're making very dense spheres of concentric sheets of graphene which is this onion style graphite which should have very low reactivity, support longer cycle life. And again, the cost of making it should be cheap because we can start with waste products or whatever we start with, we can end with 100% yield. So I think that's, that's one of the reasons why Jeff was so interested is it supports that type of activity on the graphite side and also on the cathode side. As he said, you know, typical methods for cathode manufacturing also include a lot of waste and expensive processing steps. And this, this is all done through a dry mechanical milling process. So it doesn't use solvents, it doesn't use chemicals. We come out with product powder all through a dry process, ready to feed that into somebody to make electrodes and build a battery.